so after recently celebrating my 50th video, woohoo, um, um, I'm deciding to sort of try and make um, these videos a bit more high quality, so I discovered that if I don't edit them at all, I get them in HD, so um, I figure that's better than like a standard def, so um, that means I can I have to record everything in one take, um, which, you know, it's not ideal, but um, it's doable. So, right here, um, I'm just going to talk about computer power supply. I got, obviously, I got it from a computer, and um, here it is. So what I've done is, that's the supply, right? And here's the cord on the back. And there is a switch, and here are the rest of the cables. The, the plug in this one goes to your motherboard and these ones to um the the c d drives and whatnot and what I've done is I've just cut um from one of the connectors that wasn't being used it looks like that um twelve volt which is yellow um five volt which is red uh, black which is ground orange which is three point three and blue which is negative twelve I had to cut the blue from the main connector here, and also you had to um, solder together the green and the um, ground, and that would turn it on. So when I flip the switch, it goes on with the plug in, and I just sort of um, screw down this thing, which came from a floppy drive, and hot glued it all up, so now I can hook it up to my alligator clips, you know, just like um, that. So very simple, and you can buy them for like 30 bucks on Spark Fun, so that one will go nice, because it's a lot simpler than using that and have to plug my multimeter to get variable power, which is nice still if you need like a 2.3 volts for an LED so But, um, I mean, that's not actually that's just to give you a general idea. But, it was a custom made computer made by my cousin, and, um, it has some really cool stuff in it. So, let me, uh, turn it on for you and, um, show you some of the cool things that were inside the computer. So, uh, wait for one second here. This is might take uh, a couple minutes because, well not a couple minutes, but uh, a bit because no editing normally. I'd edit this part out and you wouldn't see it. So now we're going to flick on the switch. And you'll see the fan starts up. And so um, now there's power going through these connectors and if you um, want to check, we have our trusty Ampro Band 240 multimeter. I did a review on that. Um, probably put a link up right now, as I do. And also, at the beginning of my videos, you notice I put links to every other video for convenience if you actually like the videos. But here. Um, and we'll test out the 5 volts. Sure enough, 5 volts. Now on to some of the stuff that was inside. Just showing what you what you can get when you take apart a computer. Um as really fun. Cool fan. It looks really cool. Here, let me turn off the lights. One sec. in, so that is one drawback, but also we got an RGB color changing LED out of the deal, which was used to make the whole case glow, but, um, yeah, yeah so I'm running off of power supply, and it can do a couple of amps, but not through one wire, I would recommend actually tying all the same color together. So you can get like 30 amps out of the thing or something like that. It's ridiculous. And also, here's what you can do. There's a fan, right? Um, with the standard Molex connector. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Tell me if I'm getting it wrong. There's a standard piece of a perf board. I soldered down the wires so that um, it fits into a breadboard. So 
I just happen to have one right here. So, as you can see, I got the two power buses. And if we plug it in, um, we now have 5 volts on that outer bus, because red is 5 volts, and 12 volts on the uh, inner bus, which is, um, so on like this outer one, that would be 5 volt and ground, and that one would be 12 volt and ground. And so, because yellow is 12 volts, so, and then it also has this fan attached. So, power supply now. But, um, yeah, some of the good stuff you can get with the power supply. So, um, I would recommend taking apart a computer because you can also get CD drives, DVD drives, plenty of fans, um, you know, serial connectors, um, slowly these switches, whatnot. Uh, here we go. Some uh, boxes of what I part. Um, get uh, the CPU and some RAM chips. Not really useful for electronics, but maybe if you need to upgrade your computer or uh, it's heavy, it's got heat sinks in it. So we have a floppy drive, and it fits on top of the heat sink. Only heat sinks, and then the bottom is like a DVD DVD drive. Um, so there's that. So. Ugh. never tried it's actually very difficult to do things with only one hand while holding the camera in the other. Um, just in case you've uh, never tried that. So anyway, I think that's it for today. Um, but, um, yeah, have fun. And so, um, a couple people from the last video, or a couple videos ago, or I'm not sure that I ever did this at all, but, um, oh, yeah, it was from the laser tag video where I showed off laser tag. said that you can, oh, cameras can see IR LEDs. So we have here some IR LEDs. So we're going to, um, actually uh, turn them on right now. And you can see what I mean. So. Also, this is another hack I did. It's I took a phone charger that was rated for 5 volts, and I tapped into the connector and screwed the case back on. So now it can charge phones, and it's a nice 5-volt supply. So, yeah, just something to uh, think about doing yourself. But anyway, we'll turn it on. And you can see there's that purplish glow, right? I can't see that in real life. I can't honestly tell if there is anything there or not. They just look same to me. So you should try this at home. It work with a TV remote. Here, I can go over and get one. Show you. So. Okay, here's a remote, and we're going to have to go to the uh, bathroom to avoid um, turning on the TV. Okay, so this is the same place where I shot the camera underwater. But if we aim the remote at it, oh, sorry, one sec. So, um, definitely, if you look into a remote, you can't see those lights blinking, as I'm sure you all know. And I actually turned on the TV. Anyway, that is it. So, um. Yeah. So, um, that's some interesting stuff, and go get a computer. And on SparkFun, they sell computer power supplies. So, yeah, any um, requests, definitely send them. Um, thanks, and, um, bye. I guess, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Should I give it HD, or should I do the editing? Which one do you like more? And also, let me know if you want me to bring back a big bang, if you want me to do, like, an exploding capacitor or something at the end of every video. I mean, if you obviously like the idea of, um, not editing it. So, um, thanks for listening. Bye.